ISIS will revive by US-Saudi Arabia. In their article, in Veterans Today, two analysts, Gordon Duff Kamiyev and Nahid al-Husseini assert, that the Islamic State, ISIS, is a radical, Wahhabist Islamist terrorist organization, was born and nourished, by Saudi Arabia, with the help of the United States. Along with the United States, Riyadh has always publicly, supported economic and, military support for ISIS, while the international community, remained silent. At present, ISIS has finally collapsed, in Syria and Iraq. However, they did not die, as they continued, to revive their masters, and new clothe themselves. ISIS leaders, and remnants are still, being transported through, the, democratic corridors, of the Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, a coalition of Kurdish Arabs, the Kurdistan People's Movement, YPG, to move to safe shelters, among refugee camps, along the Syrian-Jordanian border. The United States, has built a series of bases throughout Syria, of which the main base lies, in the city of Raqqa, based at Remilan, in Hasaka province. The Kobani base, in Aleppo province, and a main base, in Shede in southern Hasaka, near Syria's largest oil fields, in the Erezor province. It's not a coincidence, or an act of American custom, it's in a plan, that's been built and worked out, a long time ago. When Russia launches, Satellite images of United States. Combat vehicles strolling. In ISIS facilities. And then proclaiming them, capturing the east coast, of the Euphrates. It is also the case that gunman terrorism, was transported from there, to the, safe zones, through the SDF's control area, on American tanks, and the SDF took control, of those lands. United States-led convoys, were discovered, on November 5th, near the Palmyra ancient city, of Homs and Mount Qalaman, just as before, dozens of helicopters, hovered over various areas, both of Syria, and Iraq, to collect the terrorists, on a termite in South Syria. At the United States training camp, at Al Tanf in southern Syria, remnants of, ISIS are being assembled, from across the region, and are being transformed, into a new peaceful opposition, backed by Saudi Arabia, and the United States, to reopen the southern Syrian front. Syrian officials say, the camps are not open to relief organizations, or other non-governmental organizations, as they are, demonic, where the United States is training terrorists, and rehabilitating 20,000, gunmen. Terrorists have survived battles, in Syria and Iraq. The, Eastern Lions Army, based at Jordan, under the supervision, of the United States, International Warfare Depot, Saudi, British, Israeli, MOK, will be mobilized against, the Syrian Arab Army, SAA, in the area, southern Syria, in the Al Tanf area, and other areas controlled, by the rebels. Some of the SDF Arab forces, are currently recruited, into this organization. According to local sources, adult groups have come to, United States training camps, in Jordan under the, refugee, label, and are being ready trained there. The United States, may mobilize 20,000, of the SDF Arab forces to disarm the ISIS gunmen will re-establish a new ISIS terrorist organization with a force of up to 40,000 to 50,000 troops revive the terrible power of ISIS the new ISIS will fight the Syrian army SAA in the area along the Syrian Jordanian border and Syria-Iraq border, control of the oil border, along the Syrian border, from Jordan to Iraq, extending to the Turkish border. The route runs from the Persian Gulf, to the Mediterranean.
Bing New. Thank you for watching.